Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron and I think we're done with the asylum. Oh, still paused, unpaused then. I don't think there's much to get anymore. What can I do? No, you're Something the wrong up? girl for the job. No problem at all. Yes? Clusterfuck. As you ask. Time to move? You can count on me. Oh. Fine. What is my task? It shall be. Where's Ari? Has anybody seen the little elf? There she is. Ari, you must this is come a here. Faster than she take a fast pause. On my honor. Con so I think now that we have John Arenicus's key, we could probably open that door here and use the portal. Let's see that. Yes. Ain't that fun? Safe? And check that out. Things go well on the surface. The temple of their false god has been defiled. I am pleased. My revenge will soon come. We did not act for your benefit, Irenicus, though you did offer some interesting opportunities. Yes, Matron Mother. Excuse my careless words. Our first prisoners arrive, Matron Mother. These two rank high among the surface scum, Matron. What is to be their fate? Their presence sickens me. Kill them. Perhaps it would be better to interrogate them first. Jonalette, what are you doing with these monsters? You are on a... An odd way to question, Arenicus. <laughs> Did you not like his tone? I reconsidered, Matron. Your command was the wiser. Oh great. He killed him just before he could set finish this fence sentence. Hmm. The great depths of the Underdark stretch before you. And as you adjust to the dim light, the reality of where you are begins to sink in. It is a realm of countless legends, where evil lurks behind each shadow. And though you have traveled far in pursuit of Irenicus, never have you felt so isolated. As black as your situation may have seemed, it somehow grows darker still. Before he gets 20,000 XP. Mm, the Underdark. I like it here. But, um, you know, this is a shortcut to chapter 5. We actually, um, you know, missed the part of the game now. So we will not do that. This, it's just a way to get, you know, to chapter 5 quickly. It shall we be. will meet with that pirate again. Eventually we end up in the underdog too. So, oh yeah, the key is gone now. Consider it done. Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? No, Ari, it's too early. You're just tired because you casted a restoration spell. That is all. The rest of the party is still fresh.
Fine. Let's go. I will do my best. So we should go. Oh yeah, we have to go to the exit first. Wait. What is here? Oh, we can't get to that spot. Okay. Then form up here. You point, I punch. Ah, you. Yes. Yeah, you see, those are the halberds of your friends that I killed when I came up there. <laughs> that's a bit loud. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes! Yes! You realize that you can't do nothing, can you? Identification, okay. Some money. And we move down again. Down again. Thank you. So that goes in here. Now that we have the bag of... Um, what's it called? Bag of holding. Yeah. The inventory is much more structured and so on. Yeah, I like it a lot better. Let's leave. We still need a rope for Imoen. Oh well. So, um, to the vulgar monkey. <coughs> Very well. To meet that captain, pirate, captain again. Blackbeard, seaman, whatever. I wonder whether I will be able to get three more boots of speed. Probably not. Done. There he is. I'm glad to see you. Though our meeting is colored by the unfortunate events I must relate. I'd hoped them settled, but I am denied. I have no ship with which to offer passage. It has been scuttled in an act of the purest malice. Such villainy I am subjected to. I guess I should have used the portal then. You think us fools? You knew your ship was scuttled when you first spoke to us, didn't you? You seek to use us somehow. It does my spirit harm that you think I would try and cheat you of your rescue. Perhaps I did not have my ship on hand, but my intentions uh, were well and true. My sole purpose is to find you transport, and by the luck of the draw, it is the best. It is best done by procuring me a new ship. We should hurry, lest enemies return. And what would this plan of you entail? Well, the obvious course would be to exact a revenge of sort to procure another ship, and it just so happens that I have the perfect mark in mind. The pirate lord who so maliciously disabled my vessel has a perfectly serviceable ship of his own. If he could make off with it, we would be set for sure. Tell me more. His ship is moored at the docks. Under cover of night we could take it most easy. We simply have to make sure the sea gate is open for the bay to be clear. If you could get the horn that signals the gateman we could blow it at night and be gone before anyone is the wiser. Is that your plan? What of gods? We will be seen for sure. Nary and I will turn toward us. Ships leave at all hours, especially the pirate lords. His nefarious business often goes through the night. It will not. I will not be idle in this task either. I will see to see to clearing the docks of those that would report us. Come now, what do you say to this? It sounds possible. I will help as best as I can. Give me the details of the task. The matter is simple, though stealth will be required. The horn is on it and beautiful, and the pirate lord lets his lady Gaia keep it safe. Had I the luxury of time, I might try to woo her for it, as she is of suspect morality, as I have heard at least. During the day, the horn is in the care of the well guarded pirate lord, but at night it hangs in Gaia's room. 
retrieve the horn from her abode under the cover of darkness and come to me aboard the ship by the decks. Why don't we have to luxuriate of time, but it's just a rush. The longer I stay in this charming town, the more likely I am to join my first ship at the bottom of the harbor. The sooner we leave, the better. Very well, I'll do it then. Yes, for your good, I shall add it to your. Uh, I shall add it to your incentive for a quick and stealthy action. We shall be away with all haste, and you shall take this blade from me for services rendered. Go now and do what must be done. Hmm, what time is it? Seven o'clock. It's early morning. Let's rest. Never had rest. No sir. You came too late. Didn't I say you would come too late? You will learn to trust me. Come on, what's gotten into you? Don't be afraid. You are safe here. If you behave. I will show you what fills the void. What is now free. You are not Imwen. She said she has had... N she has not had any dreams like this. I lurk behind your soul in the very fiber of your being. I am the only thing left when mind and reason are stripped away. I will show you what you can be, what you can do, if you simply let yourself become what you are. Never. I can show you all of this because I am within. I am what fills the void. I am you. Oh, I'll show you a fight. <gasps> hey, you the slasher kills my party. Not the slash or the slayer. You are to be given a gift. It is a valuable prize. One that you had better appreciate. Uh, how about you let me decide that? You worry for your comrades, perhaps? Leave them, abandon them, and become what you must. There is great power in your heritage. Use it, and you will become closer to who you are. What you could be. Feel what is in the void. Use the tools that you are given. Become part of something greater. I am in you, and I know what is best. I don't think this. I don't think so. Each time you use it, each time you accept it, you move a little closer to the evil within. Perhaps you lose yourself in the end, but you will go to greater reward than you can know. After all, what does an eternity of nothingness matter? When you can destroy all that would oppose your development, as easy as one. Why would I want to be a monster? I will deal with them in my own way without becoming a monster. Uh, Hayward Chablomi can now change into the Slayer at will. Okay. What is my task? <sighs> it's 3 p.m. We have to rest again. I never you had rats. No, sorry. And now it's 11 p.m. Okay, night. So, we should go to where was her? Chaos home. Fine. It shall be. On my honor. What do you require? Consider it done.
Do you have something you wish to say? Hmm. Do you sleep? The time to rise comes soon. Must I go so early? The morning is far away. Stay for a moment then, but know you must go come the dawn. The risk of you being discovered here is too great then. I, I know, but it was not I that made it so. That was uncalled for. You are my choice of the moment. The past does not matter. It does if we are caught. This Sharik is suspicious of you, ever since he caught you with that seaman. Ugh, speak not his name. You thought well enough of it to take him as a companion. A foolishness of my youth. His words were pleasing to hear. He is very good with them. That is what you said about me. Then go if you are so offended. I am not. I know where I stand. You stand where I tell you to. If that is not enough, I will seek companionship elsewhere. You will anyway. Ah, forgive me. I, I did not mean to offend. I am beyond offense. I live with the mighty Desharik, pirate lord of the isle. That offends me well enough. He does not seem to care for you, though. Look at the guard he provided you with. They watch over his possessions, including me. My own guard keeps them at a distance. Then let us forget I brought this up. Okay, yeah? Ah, oh, message received. Sleep then. I don't usually speak to the likes Who? of you. Who is there? Guards! Hello. To my aid! Intruders in my quarters! Oh, great. So, well, yes. what do we have here? What is my task? Pirate, pirate, pirate. Fine. On First one dead. I'll hurt you if I have to. Second one. Good is on our side this day. Third one. On my arm. That was easy. What do you require? Hmm? What did you drop? Nothing. Yep. Anything gotcha. trapped here? Doesn't look like it. Anything locked? No. What is that? The pirate horn, okay. Ah, uh, we are Empty. all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. Rejoice! Very well. The pirate horn. This horn can be blown to signal the harbor guards. They will open the sea gates to allow a ship through. Without the horn, the ship would never leave the harbor. Yeah, how does one get into the harbor? Yes, I await your word. That was not too difficult, was it? No, it was not. Save. And we should go. There's a ship here. No, here. Was this right? No, this is where we came from. That's the ship of the pirate lord, if I'm not totally wrong. Let's form up here and see what we it get. Shall be. So we. So what, that ship doesn't look like it's been scuttled. Why don't we take this? The seas are sure rough this time of year. Oh. What's this? Look now, boys. Looks like we've some volunteers to do some rowing on the ships, I. So, how about it, boy? You're going to come and be a slave quietly, or do we have to rough you up a bit? Hmm. Maybe you could just back off now and leave with your lives, scum. So be it. This one will make a fine slave, boys. Take him. Oh, really? Swords, not words! Him. What is my task? I have no idea. I think we have we have to go down to get him, really. Consider it done. Fine. Boom. On my honor. What do you require? Great fun! I am 
There's a pirate mage. Okay. You must be stupid to try to attack my group. Yes. What is my task? I will do my best. Nature's servant awaits. Vita, On my arm. So, what do we get? Some money, okay. Everybody seems to have 40 gold pieces. Seems to be standard fare. Oh, yeah, you have more. A uh, leather armor plus one. A quarter staff plus one. That's probably a scimitar plus one. Alright then. What do you require? But we still need a rope for um, M1. There's a pirate. The seas are sure rough this time of year. Hmm. Nothing like some time ashore. All I need is some grog and a good last on me. Where's that seaman guy? Did I overlook something? At the docks. I must meet him at the docks. Well, those are the docks. Oh, there he is. There you are, my friend. Have you secured the Seagate Horn? I'm eager to flee this wretched isle. Yes, I have a cry at the horn. Here it is. Very good indeed. I've convinced the men on board that they should accompany me, and they will ready the ship for launch. We'll be underway before long. Uh, what I mean to say is that the pirate lord will not arrive in time to stop us. That is who I meant in no uncertain terms. Hurry, we must away. Okay. Simon Haverian. Ah, oh, hell. Uh, uh, I'll be below deck securing the, um, something. Uh. <laughs> You'll stand where you are, Haverian. You have gone too far this time. If I have wronged you in some fashion, I am dreadfully sorry. I was not aware of any offense. Your pretty words are wasted on me, Kerr. I have seen your like a dozen times over and buried them all. I am lord of this island, you, and yet you have undermined my authority at every turn. Trading falsehoods, cuckoldry, and now my ship suffers your touch. Ship, nee, not ship, yeah, ship would be German for ship. Suffers your touch. Kill the scoundrel, Desharik. His mouth will spew nothing but lies. Your mouth is no better, or else would he have got the, horn, the gate horn if not by taking your company again. But, but Desharik, dear. You know my f how my feelings for you, madam. You are raving, a raving ditch pig. <laughs> All right then. You have brought me to the brink of madness, Simon Haverian, and now I will repay you. That was a short divorce, sir. You must believe that I'm totally sin when you must believe that I'm totally sincere when I say, "Hey, would you blow me? Get him!" <laughs> Your lackeys will not save you. We are not his lackeys, but we will save him nevertheless. So, well, Desharik, you know what's going to come now. With vengeance. Next time. What the fuck is he trying to do? I await your need. It is done. Nature, take the life she gave. Wait, Desharik is dead. Awesome. So you attack him. 
guess. You used to Very stuff. Well. Minsk and I stand ready. ready. Yes? What do you want? Great fun! <laughs> okay, he's dead too. That was not so difficult. What is my task? On my honor. No, we slay you. I <laughs> just have to beat you! <laughs> So what did we get loot wise here? Nothing. You probably have nothing too. Yeah. All right. Studded leather plus one, and probably two scimitars plus one. Nothing too fancy. What do you require? Guess we won. Cast off the mains. We are away. Set sights on the mainland. As for you, hey, which blow me, I know you are not one of my henchmen, and I should not order you about so. As much as I do not want to give it up, I have possessed this blade too long. It is yours to cement our friendship, payment for a battle well fought and for many more to come. If you wish, though I would prefer gold. Nonsense, it is a fine blade and you are more than deserving. I will take no other answer than yes. Now let us cast off and go, we are free. The seas are calm, but the voyage is tense, and Seaman spends much of his time below decks. He acts as though he expects some great tragedy, and that by avoiding you, he can escape its influence. The course he has set is true, though, and you think you will make the mainland in a few days. On the fourth morn, a ship is spotted to the east, and a visibly shaken Seaman orders a change of course. The winds are against him, however, and the other vessel makes steady and remarkable progress towards you. Seaman grows increasingly nervous, and rightfully so. The ship looks odd, and you swear it may not even be resting upon the water. Inevitably, it pulls alongside and reveals a crew like no other. Seaman orders everyone to have weapons at the ready. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, Gith Yankees. Funny. Kill them. To battle! Victory! 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 Victory!
I will not have anyone go through my possessions. Now, Haywitch Wilby, you will have to trust me on this matter. I will provide for all that goes concerned. Yeah, it's probably the blade you just gave me, right? That's the thing they're looking for. Search away, Captain. You will find you will not find any such objects on me. Although I don't know about these ruffians on deck, I don't like the look of them. Give them a thorough look. Seaman. Just providing for those concerned. Me. My apologies, Haywitch Wilby. The blade belonging to the good Yankee is aboard. Detection does not lie. All will perish for this insult. But you can search and take the two thieves. Take the whole crew if you must. Examples must be set. None must tempt such crime again. Destroy them all. This just isn't a good time day. Okay, so we stop it. Now this is a bitch. So because of that blade here, silver blade that a seaman gave to us to get Yankees attack now. Fine, what do we have here? There is the captain... Captain, my captain... Uh, pirate... M1... Pirate... Pirate... Thank you... Pirate... Thank you... Okay, thank you... First seaman... I don't see him... There! Yes. What is my I am sick of these games now. I'll help however I can. On my honor. We kill him. What can I do faster than Jake? What do you require as you act? Hey, attack him. He's dead now. Good riddance. Okay. This is a lot more exciting than any circus name. Yes. Eighteen thousand XP. What is my task? And we have the captain. Okay. I guess we should kill the captain now. Yes. I am with Caesar sure rough this time of year. Prepare the bad ship, she takes on water. Oh, Sehegain, Sehugin aboard, aboard us. This ship is doomed. Ready yourselves for the water. I was not done killing... On my Tiki, thank you. Thank you Good is on our side this day! I did not anticipate this. Seh how do you pronounce it? Sehuagin. Sehuagin? I did not anticipate this. Back to the ship. The ship lurches, and the ongoing battle is soon the least of your worries. The entire vessel quickly lists to one side as the cargo below decks violently shifts. There is no chance to make for a lifeboat, and you are thrown overboard, left gasping for air in an undertow you cannot escape. Pressure builds, and you are pulled deep. And you wonder if your last sight will be the disappearing Saman Haverian fleeing through some magical means, saving his own skin as always. Actually, I killed him. Ah, Gesundheit. Bless you. Come on, don't you have a translator spell or something? So, can it understand me now, High Priestess? It must be able to understand. The king awaits. I heard you the first time, Fialetis. And yes, I have called on Sekola to grant these beings the ability to understand our tongue. So, it understands, High Priestess. Is, is it dangerous to us? Shall we be forced to color it? The surface beings are varied in their ways, Fialetis, but they are quite intelligent. You can, I am sure, speak to the creatures directly. No, no color. I will not be colored by smelly fishmen. My warrior spirit will not bear such a thing. My apologies. 
Captain Fiolet has performed as well as a protector of our shark father's temple, but has little experience with your kind. I am sure this must come as a shock to you, after your recent harrowing experience. You must brace yourself, soft ones, as your journey gets no easier. High Priestess, we must take the surface beings before the King. He commands it. In good time, Philetus. Allow them to gain their bearings and discover why we have brought them here. Otherwise, they may resort to hostilities. No, no, that must not be allowed. Indeed, Sicola has spoken to these one has spoken of these ones to us. So let us treat them not as prisoners for the banquet table. Let us instead make them welcome. I shall introduce myself to you. I am Sen Senitili, royal high priestess of Sicola. And you are in the city of Caverns, one of our most ancient places. Sicola. I read of this god once, the shark father, ruthless and devoid of compassion. So is all of his race. You are a tool, perhaps. And after that, a meal. You are fortunate, for surface dwellers. In the normal course of things, creatures captured from the sunlands would be dinner for our plate. This once, however, is different. Sekola has told of your coming in an ancient prophecy, and I have cried that you are whom the Shark Father speaks of. I should have known. Once again, our peculiar destiny has drawn us into something, hey, which blow me. Even the Shark Gods flounder in anticipation of your arrival. The most exalted king, I don't want to speak his name, calls for your presence of the pro of the clouds for the presence of the prophesied ones. Now, but there is time for you to ask questions if you have the desire. Okay, what manner of creature are you? Your kind has many names for us, I believe. We are called the Sea Devils, the Anguillians, although I believe the Merman word is most pre prevalent, Sehuagin. We are the raiders of the shores and hunters without equal surface men. We please the shark father with our ruthlessness and our cunning. As I said, you are lucky to live, and it galls us that the prophecy calls on surface dwellers to aid us. What is this prophecy you speak of? Ah, yes, the prophecy. Sikola visited the city of caverns long ago. All raised their arms in rejoicement as the great shark song filled our hearts. Sikola told of a time when the city of caverns would be no more. He also told of signs that would precede the arrival of surface dwellers in the depths. Sikola said, these surface dwellers would be all that stood between the city of caverns and destruction, and we would do well to watch for them. We, Sehuagin as you call us, have watched and waited for from our temples here in the city. The signs have come, surface man, and now you are here. You have come, and the city of caverns does indeed stand on the brink of destruction. You will save us, as Sekola has promised. Most sacred Senitili. The most exalted one will wait no longer. We must bring the surface beings to him quickly, lest we get punished. The most honored, I don't want to speak his name, will not punish us, good Fialetis, but we must hurry lest uh, whatever his name is, no, this is another one, convinces the king of her views in my absence. So, surface man, you have heard me tell of the prophecy and your role in it. Will you see the king of the Zehuagin to hear more? Over your struggle. I have more questions to ask of you first. There's no more time. Okay, then I will go with you. Good. Captain Fioletus, we shall now proceed to the royal chambers. Lead us. At once, most sacred one. I shall also bring the equipment collected from the sunken ship. If they pass the test, they may have any of the things that I have found. We are here, most honorable Ixothotoka, at your command. And these? <laughs> these are the strange creatures from the surface? <laughs> these are the ones you claim the mighty Sekola has promised us? They are, most honorable one. The leader amongst them here is what I believe they refer to as a elf. It seems most, most strange. They have no scales. Look how small and puny their teeth are. 
Bamboo too has small teeth compared to fishmen, but they hurt just the same when they latch onto the eyes. Yes, sir. <laughs> A baron. You must kill it, most exalted one. They should not have remained alive. You must kill them, sacrifice them to the shark father. You are welcome to try. So you keep telling me, Baron. Shall we turn away a gift of Sekola, do you think, then? The surface creatures are not sent by Sekola, most exalted uh, king. They are not the ones spoken of in the shark father's prophecy. They are nothing more than spurious beasts that have fallen into our lap. You should sacrifice them and feast upon their meat. Oh. No. Most honorable king, the signs were clearly seen. All has come to pass as Secular had foretold. Not all the signs have come. I do not see what I do not see what I wish to see. I only I see only what Secola has shown me, and these are the saviors of the city of caverns. So <laughs> we have a disagreement, do we? The high priestess and consort of my baron uh, contests the beliefs of my own priestess, does she? I do, most honorable one. She does. It is as we have been trying to tell you, king. These creatures are no more worthy than a meat crab, meant for consumption and nothing more. No, king. Why do they have such difficult names? Do not listen to them. They are sent by Sekola, I swear. To refuse them is to pledge the city of caverns to its destruction. Oh, I shall be the judge of that good sentinelili, whatever. Oh yes, most surely I shall. <laughs> what do you think, Elf? Yes, you. Do you think you are more worthy than a sea crab? Hmm? Do you think you are who the prophecy speaks of? Hmm. No, I don't. I would sooner slice you open than help your evil kind. Well, the elf has an admirable zest, I'll give you that. Sekola would like such a vicious attitude, I think. I don't suppose either of the most favored priests will change their mind? Hehe. <laughs> Relinquish their position in this arbitration, perhaps? Most certainly not. No, not most, uh, honorable king. Uh, I didn't think so. So be it. We shall decide this with a challenge, we will. Although not a challenge between our dear priestesses, that would solve nothing. We wish to see if these surface beasts are truly the ones the Shark Father has spoken of, yes? So I shall offer them a chance to prove their power. Well, Elf, will you take this challenge? Will you fight a creature of my choosing, a slave from the surface, and see if you survive? Mm -hmm. Well, well, I accept the challenge. Excellent, excellent. Sport for us all. Take them away and let us see what they do against our freakish surface slave. Uh, since we're not really hurt. What's an Aten? I know no one fight. I want home. I smash fish. What? I smash you. What do you require? Yeah, it's unfortunate we have to kill you. Oh, I'll show you a fight. And killing him with it. Congratulations, my wondrous little elf. You are indeed a mighty specimen. Specimen? Shouldn't it be an E? And the one sent to us by Secular, I might add. No, most exalted king, you cannot be serious. Oh, stop complaining, Baron. So your high priestess lost the challenge. That's too bad. There's no need to go on whining about it. Time to take her away for sacrifice. Try not to get caught in Secular's teeth. I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate it. I, I see, of course, most exalted king. Yeah. Looks like someone lost. I would really appreciate it if I could save uh, now. Now that that little dispute is over with, perhaps we can get down to real business, eh? <laughs> Are you bitter? No, most exalted one, as as long as the prophesied ones deal with the rebels, they will have served you the purpose Sekola intended. 
The rebels, that's right. And here I was on my coral throne forgetting all about those rebels. That is an excellent task to set these surface dwellers on. If if I may speak, most honorable one, as to the shark father's intentions. Eh, are you still there? Didn't I just have you sacrificed? No, that was the other priestess. Yeah. Oh, how disappointing. Well, I suppose you can speak then. I urge you not to listen to the Baron. He would have you destroy the rebels when there is a far greater need for them in the city of caverns. Our numbers dwindle, most honorable. King, you have exiled many. The hatcheries are barren and there are too few ma females. In short, our bloodline grows thin. thin. We need these rebels to join us, to add their blood to ours so that the city of caverns may grow strong again. I see what you say. Oh yes, I do. We should have the rebel and his army to join us in principle. The drow and the illithids take more each year. I have no wish to retreat to the depths. But no, I'd rather have the rebel's heart. But... But... Excellent decision, your king. Our king. Your king? Our king. Hä? Huh? Does he say that? Your highness or something like that? Hmm. I thought you would like that, my baron, but I'm not doing it for you. The rebel must in rebel will invade with his army of exiles if he isn't stopped, you know. So it comes down to you, surface elf. I am sure you have no wish to help a race such as us, but you have no objection to killing a few. Hunt down the rebel leader for me, my elf. Bring me his heart and I shall reward you with great riches. We'd best be careful here, which will be. I don't know. How much I trust this king to remember we're supposed to be rewarded and not eaten, you know. Well, if they try to eat us, we kill them. Your kind does not object to sorcery. We have collected much that is magical during our raids. You are welcome to it all if you bring me his heart. So, what do you say to that, my surface elf, chosen of Sekola? Hmm, who is this rebel and where would I find him? Oh, this particular one is a former rival of for my position that I sent away years ago. What was his name again, my baron? Prince Villinati, exalted one. Right, Villinati. You can find the rebels outside of the city. He should be no match for one as powerful as you, my little elf. Hmm. I don't know, I would prefer to negotiate a peace, as the high priestess suggests. Well, I don't want a peace. I want his heart. You are the chosen of Sekola, after all. And the rewards would be magnificent, I can assure you. Well, I can't find this, fight this rebel if I'm a prisoner. Prisoner? Hey, hey, you are the chosen of Sekola, my little surface elf. You have been sent to us by the prophecy. After we are done here, you can wander off on your own way. Rest, rearm yourselves, whatever it is that you have surf that you surface people enjoy doing, I suppose. Soon you'll leave the city and kill the rebel prince, saving the city of caverns as the prophecy foretells, and I shall reward you with great riches. Until that time, you will have the free run of the city of caverns. Go where you wish, my good elf. But, but most honored one, you wish to let them loose in the city? They're doing us a great service, my baron. I want everyone to treat them like, like, like pale, small-toothed, skinny fellow Sehuagin. Yes, like that. Ah, very well. I will try to find this rebel you speak of and return his heart to you. Good. The less, rebe <coughs> the less rebels running about, the better. You shall save the city and be rewarded. Everyone will be happy, except for Villinati. Hmm. And then you'll be free to go off to the Underdog, if that's where you're headed. Unless you'd care to try the oceans again, my little elf. But off you go, little chosen ones. I desire meat now, and the king always dines in private. Uh, before you leave the city, surface beings, come to the temple and speak to me again. I can tell you things that will make your job much easier. Yes, our priestess shall shall tell you how to gain access to the rebel camp. The rebels are locked away with magic, you know. Go now and destroy them. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's call it a video then. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.